In this video, we're diving into how to fix the CPU bottleneck and get your GPU working at full power so your gaming experience will be smoother, faster, and more responsive. Whether you're gaming on a budget build or a high-end rig, I will show you how to balance your system and unlock the best possible performance without needing an upgrade. Let me know in the comments which CPU and GPU you're using, and I'll give you free performance suggestions. Frustrated with lag and hyping while you play games? So guys, you need Gear Up Booster. This is the ultimate tool to lower your ping, boost stability, and give you zero lag. Pro players like Asian Jeff and Polarized use it to stay ahead. So why not you? Download Gear Booster now from the link in the description and dominate every match. To begin fixing the CPU bottleneck problem, the very first step involves an essential Windows tweak, power throttling. Power throttling is a Windows feature designed to save energy, but on low-end or even mid-range systems, it can severely limit your CPU's performance. Start by pressing Windows plus R on your keyboard. This will bring up the Run dialog box. Now type gpedit.msc and press Enter. This will open the Local Group Policy Editor. Inside the Group Policy Editor, go to this path. Computer Configuration, Administrative Templates, System. Scroll down until you locate the Power Management folder. Once you're inside the Power Management section, click on Power Throttling Settings. Now look for the setting called Turn Off Power Throttling. Double-click on it and a new window will appear. Set it to Enable to completely disable power throttling on your system. Finally, click Apply, then OK, and you're done. This tweak ensures your CPU can run at its full potential without Windows holding it back which can significantly reduce or even eliminate bottlenecking in games and other demanding applications. Now let's move on to one of the most effective tools for reducing CPU bottlenecks, Quick CPU. This powerful utility gives you full control over your CPU's performance settings, allowing you to unlock its true potential. To get this tool, simply visit my official website, uptopax.com. Once you're there, head over to the FPS Boost section. Look for the post that matches the title and thumbnail of this video. It's easy to spot, scroll down a bit, and you'll find a direct download link, ready for you to grab without any hassle. Using Quick CPU will help us fine tune your system for the best possible performance, especially if your CPU is being underutilized due to default Windows limitations. Start by adjusting the system power plan. Click on the drop down menu and select Ultimate Performance. This plan is specially designed to ensure your CPU runs at full strength, delivering consistent power without any energy-saving restrictions. Once applied, you'll notice smoother gameplay, improved FPS, and reduced input lag, all critical for an optimized gaming experience. Next, scroll down to the main optimization settings. Core Parking. Set this to 100%. This will keep all CPU cores active at all times which is essential for maintaining stable and high performance during gaming or multitasking. Performance, also set this to 100% to force the CPU to operate at maximum output, avoiding any throttling. Frequency scaling, set it to 100%. This setting locks your CPU to run at its highest clock speeds for better stability under load. Turbo boost, again, set this to 100%. This allows the processor to push beyond its base speed when additional performance is needed. Once you've made all these adjustments, click Apply, then press OK to confirm and save the changes. Now, go to the Advanced CPU settings by clicking the corresponding button. In this section, we'll enable a few more key features. Turbo Boost. Make sure this box is checked to allow dynamic overclocking during demanding tasks. Enhanced Intel Speed Step Technology EIST. Enable this for smarter power management that balances performance and energy efficiency without sacrificing speed. Turbo power limits. Turn on all available options here. This lets your CPU run at its full thermal and power capacity, especially under heavy load conditions. After enabling everything, close quick CPU. These changes will now take effect and your system will be far better equipped to handle modern games and workloads with reduced CPU bottlenecks. Now go again in the downloaded folder and open the CPU optimization folder. Inside, you'll see several important files that are crucial for optimizing your system. Make sure to install each file one by one, carefully and without skipping any of them. These tweaks are designed to enhance CPU responsiveness and overall system efficiency. After completing that, open the CPU priority folder. In this folder, you'll find two subfolders, 
one labeled Intel and the other AMD. It's important to select the correct one based on your processor. If your system is running an Intel CPU, open the Intel folder and install the optimization file inside. If you're using an AMD CPU, head into the AMD folder and run the appropriate file for your hardware. Applying the right tweak ensures your system gives higher priority to gaming processes, helping to reduce stutters and improve overall performance. To boost your GPU performance specifically for gaming, start by opening the MSI mode utility. Head to the folder where it's located, right-click the executable file and choose Run as Administrator. If a user account control, UAC, prompt appears, click Yes to allow administrative access. This is essential because the tool needs elevated privileges to apply deep system-level optimizations. Once the utility opens, you'll see a list of all the hardware components in your system. Focus on finding your GPU, which is usually listed under the Display Adapters category. Now follow these two key tweaks to improve GPU efficiency and responsiveness during gaming. Enable MSI Message Signaled Interrupts. Mode. This setting replaces the legacy interrupt system, allowing more efficient communication between the GPU and the CPU. It helps reduce input lag and ensures smoother performance in games. Set interrupt priority to high. Changing this priority setting ensures that GPU-related processes are handled before lower priority background tasks. This helps eliminate stuttering, improves frame delivery, and maximizes GPU responsiveness under load. After applying both of these tweaks, click Apply to save the settings. Now guys, head over to the GPU Registry Tweaks folder. Inside, you'll find a file named Gaming Performance Registry. Simply double-click it, allow the changes by clicking Yes, and then hit OK to apply the core performance tweak. This registry file lays the groundwork for enhancing GPU behavior during gaming. Next, you'll notice two additional optimization files, low-medium optimization and medium-high optimization. These are designed to fine-tune GPU performance based on your system's hardware. If you're using a budget or mid-range setup, go with low-medium optimization. For users with more powerful or high-end rigs, select medium-high optimization. Not sure which one fits your PC? Just drop a comment and I'll help you choose the right one. In this tutorial, I'll be applying the low-medium optimization to get the best performance out of an average setup. Double-click the file, confirm with Yes, and then click OK to finalize the registry tweak. Finally, open the GPU Thread Tweaks folder. This contains dedicated registry files for different GPU brands, AMD, Intel, and Nvidia. Make sure to pick the one that matches your GPU. For instance, I'm using an Nvidia GPU, so I'll apply the Nvidia Thread Optimization file. Double-click it, confirm both prompts by selecting Yes twice, and finish by clicking OK. These thread level tweaks are designed to optimize how your GPU handles multi-threaded tasks, which can significantly reduce stuttering and boost frame rates in games. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Not tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let Gear Up automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using Gear Up Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Now let's move on to tweaking the Windows registry to prioritize GPU performance during gaming. This adjustment tells Windows to allocate more resources toward graphical processing, minimizing delays caused by background tasks. 
Begin by opening the Windows search bar, type Registry Editor, then right-click it and select Run as Administrator. This is important because making system-level changes requires elevated permissions. Once the Registry Editor is open, head to the address bar at the top, paste the registry path provided in the video description, and press Enter to jump directly to the right location. Here, you'll find a value named System Responsiveness. Right-click on it and select Modify. In the window that appears, set the value data to zero and make sure the base is set to hexadecimal. This tweak reduces Windows tendency to reserve system resources for background services, instead pushing more power toward GPU performance, which translates to better frame rates and reduced lag during gameplay. If you're running an NVIDIA GPU, fine-tuning its settings through the NVIDIA control panel can deliver a noticeable boost in gaming performance. Open the NVIDIA control panel. Now, in the left sidebar, click on Manage 3D Settings. This is where the most impactful GPU tweaks are found. Under the Global Settings tab, apply the following configurations to optimize your system for smoother, more responsive gaming. Low Latency Mode. Set this to Ultra to reduce input lag significantly, especially beneficial in fast-paced or competitive titles. Power Management Mode. Change this to prefer maximum performance to make sure your GPU runs at full clock speeds at all times, avoiding any downscaling during heavy loads. OpenGL Rendering GPU. If you're doing tasks like 3D modeling, video rendering, or any GPU heavy workflows, select your NVIDIA GPU from the dropdown to ensure all OpenGL applications default to the dedicated graphics processor. Vertical Sync, V-Sync. Set this to off to remove frame rate caps and reduce input delay. However, if you experience screen tearing, you might want to experiment with adaptive V-Sync for a balance between smooth visuals and performance. Now let's move on to fine-tuning a few additional Windows settings that can significantly boost GPU performance and make your games run smoother with better FPS and responsiveness. Start by right-clicking on your desktop and selecting Display Settings. Once inside, scroll down and click on Graphics Settings under the Related Settings section. This will open a new window with advanced performance options specifically for your GPU. The first thing to check here is Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling. If your system supports it, toggle this feature. On. Enabling GPU scheduling allows Windows to offload certain tasks directly to the GPU, which reduces latency and improves overall efficiency, especially in GPU-heavy applications like modern games. With that enabled, the next step is to assign high-performance settings to your specific games. In the same graphics settings window, find the option labeled Choose an app to set preference. Click the drop-down menu, select Desktop App, and then click Browse. This will let you manually add your games for optimization. For example, if you're looking to optimize Fortnite, navigate to its installation directory, typically under Fortnite Game Binaries Win64. Inside that folder, select the main.exe file like Fortnite Client Win64 Shipping XE, then click Add to include it in your graphics performance list. Once the game is added, click the Options button next to it. A small window will pop up with three performance modes. Select High Performance. This forces the game to use your dedicated GPU instead of integrated graphics, which can otherwise bottleneck performance. Finally, click Save to apply the changes. Repeat this process for any other games you want to optimize, such as Valorant, Counter-Strike 2, or any other title you play. These tweaks ensure that Windows gives priority to your GPU where it matters most, inside your games. All right, guys, that's it for today. If you found this helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care and happy gaming.